Hey guys, in this video I will show you how to get official Android L OT update on your Motorola Moto G XT1033. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna install the Brazil version which is again XT1033 and dual sim works fine. Just download the files in the description and uh, place them on your computer and extra extract them. Uh, and uh, you ha you should have a unlocked bootloader for this. Uh, and uh, you'll get an official Android 5.0 running to your sim. So let's get started. So make sure you have extracted the file. Uh, I have saved it in my Moto G folder, ROMs, and Stockman Brazil. And you can see you'll see the files like this. And I have copied the ADV files to this. I'll leave the link in description. Just paste them in this folder. And uh, make sure I've taken the backup of everything because it will erase ev all the data. And uh, make sure you have uh, all the Motorola latest drivers installed. So now let's connect the phone to the PC. Uh, I have found the easy way out. Uh, just uh, place this retail GB dot bat file in this folder. I'll leave the link in description and uh, just double click it and it will do it automatically no need to do it manually so you could see it's right now right now it's writing system I'll be back when it's done. So now it's booted up and let's go to settings and you will see the 4.4.4 Moto G with this Brazil. So now what you have to do is that uh, transfer the that file, um, the blur something etc. Uh, let me see. It is uh, blur version 210.12.40 Falcon uh, Falcon UM TSDS Brazil file into the uh, your Moto G and again boot into bootloader. So we are in bootloader now. You will see these options. Just go to recovery by pressing volume down and volume up. Now you will see a broken Android light. Like this now press power button and volume up simultaneously for five seconds and leave it i'm sorry press volume up and volume down for five seconds I'm sorry I got it. Just press volume down and volume up for 5 seconds and then press volume up. Yeah, got it. Now apply update from SD card. and select this blur version I'll be back when it's done it's done now it took about 15 minutes so let's now reboot Let's hope there are no bugs because I faced some two or three bugs in CM12. The first boot might take long 
I guess. I'll be back when I reboot. So it has booted up, and you can see the new lock screen. Wow, it's not transparent as it was, and you could see this notification panel. Just keep them aside and. You would say. Let's help to settings and see the Android version. You could see Android 5.0. Wi-Fi is working. Everything works. Wait, wait, wait. I think you don't have that clearing all notifications. I think it's a feature of Cyanogen mod. Pretty good. You can see the animation. Google now animation. Let's check out the keyboard. You could see messages uh, became like a uh, material design you could see sliding works in a new keyboard let's start so you could see pretty good And uh, I think the launcher has changed 4 apps before it was 5 I think. And this BR apps, it's a stock, uh, it's built in. I don't think I'm gonna use this. And uh, one more video coming soon of how to root and install CWM. I think it might be same like the Android 4.4. So let's see. So this was the video guys. Thanks for watching. Full review of Android coming soon. Make sure you please subscribe for more videos.